So Sony has paid Ericsson off with a nice little divorce settlement and is now single and ready to rock. And the result is the 12 megapixel camera HD screen coating Sony Xperia S. Specs wise, it's pretty high end with a fantastic 4.3 inch screen with Sony's Bravia HD technology, a 12 megapixel Exmor R camera, DLNA and Android Gingerbread 2.3. And it looks pretty hot too. A slab made out of glossy piano black glass with a transparent strip across the front that also acts as an antenna. This could quite easily be a swish remote for some posh Sony toy rather than a phone. Using the phone immediately shows off its best feature, that fantastic screen. It really is an amazing experience and has to be seen to be believed. The 1.5 GHz dual core processor keeps everything zipping along, helping us to browse the internet at speed and run multiple apps without hint of a slowdown. And the 12 megapixel camera found on the back of the Xperia S is one of the best out there. And it really sets it apart from other phones available, such as the iPhone 4S and Samsung Galaxy S2. The Sony Xperia S isn't perfect though, as it has several small niggles which can frustrate over time, including an unnecessarily fiddly flap over the charge port and the lack of a micro SD, which means you have to stick with the fairly generous 32 gigabytes of storage. We also found the soft keys below the screen lacking in response, and thanks to that top-notch screen, battery life takes a bit of a serious beating. But these are minor things for Sony, and it's fair to say that losing the Ericsson brand has coincided with the company's best handset in years, and a genuine competitor for the Galaxy S2 and iPhone 4S.